this video, I want to talk about sending out SMS messages out of your FileMaker solution. Now we've talked about this before using other plugins that you can purchase, but imagine sending out SMS text messages directly out of your FileMaker solution, like FM Starting Point, without installation of any plugins or any additional software. Well, it's pretty easy to do actually, and I want to show you how this is done. So first off, I want to make the business case for this. Here's a copy of FM Starting Point, which is our free uh, CRM software that's available at fmstartingpoint.com. And if you have a FileMaker solution, there are times when a specific action can occur, a very time-sensitive action. Say, for example, maybe an invoice gets paid and then immediately product has to be shipped or some other action has to occur. Or maybe an invoice is past due and you need to notify someone about that. Or maybe a project is nearing completion or there's some sort of problem with the project and you need to notify key stakeholders that a project is in jeopardy. Well, all that can be done pretty easily with SMS. Certainly it's easy enough to track the people that you need to notify in FileMaker because projects is easily attached back to a contact. You could have the SMS or cell phone number for the person so you'd have the number and the person to send the SMS to all you'd have to do is have the message and the criteria to send it out so that's the business case if you've been in business very long you probably could think of a half a dozen or a dozen situations in your organization where this could be handy so let's talk about this so I was on the FileMaker community forum the other day and there was a conversation about this and I said oh that's pretty cool we should do a video about this I had one of my uh, junior staff dig in there and start digging around. And I said, hey, talk to these guys and see what they're doing. And, uh, you know, let's come up with a demo for this. And in the process of digging around in the demo, my engineer actually found a demo that had already been written and set up. And it was written and set up by the hardworking folks at Calibri Solutions. Now, Calibri Solutions is one of those top-tier FileMaker consultancies similar to the folks at my company. And I want to give props to this group of folks, they're based in New York, for coming up with a great demo file and putting that out there on the internet. Now the demo file was produced uh, last year or the year before, I'm not even sure where it's at, but somewhere along the line my staff found the file and kind of hijacked it. But I want to give credit where credit's due and let folks know about Calibri Solutions, especially if you're in the northeast part of the country, Calibri's got some sharp developers that work for them. And they're the ones that originally came up with this solution. So let me walk you through it real quick. So here's the demo file that we have cooked up. Let me also show you Twilio's website. Twilio is actually a service that we're using to send out SMS messages. Now they have a number of products and we're going to do more videos on some of their other products and the integration with those other products. But just for this video we're going to talk about SMS, sending out text messages. Now their SMS product is right here and the pricing on it is really inexpensive. Now it's not free so you do have to pay and put 20 bucks in or something like that. It's pretty inexpensive. And you can read all about the SMS product but they have this product they what they call short codes and effectively this means that you're going to send less than uh, 30 messages per second. Now I never thought of sending more than one a second to be honest with you but there are people who build giant apps that scale and could send thousands of messages a second and so they have other services that scale into that scope and speed and capability and so that would not be this SMS it would be other products that they have that you would look for that so in terms of pricing I can bring that up here pricing for the messaging what they call their uh, short messaging what ends up happening is that you're going to end up picking a phone number and then from that phone number it's uh, 0.75 cents per text message to send out from a phone number now the phone number is not a toll-free number uh, the toll-free number is going to be a little bit more per month so it's a dollar a month and you pay into their account so a dollar a month plus 0.75 cents per text message, so less than a penny per text message. Of course, you can send additional photos over the text message as well. 
So it's two cents if you want to put a image in the text message as well. We haven't played with the images yet, but it should be pretty straightforward to set that up as well. So the pricing is really inexpensive. So what we've done is I want to run you through this demo that we have set up. By setting up an account and giving them our credit card number, what we ended up having is uh, this phone number was the number that was assigned to us right here. And they gave us our account ID, which is right here, and our account token, which is right here. And these are uh, real numbers, but we got it kind of somewhat obscured at the moment. But you'll get these two numbers. They'll be uh, unique to your account. Uh, once with these two numbers, then you can send messages anywhere, right? So then you're going to specify as part of what you're doing the phone number that you're going to send to. So this is my personal cell phone here and I'm going to uh, say hi RC uh, we have a urgent situation Amazon servers are down something like that maybe Amazon's data center went down or something like that so we can send the message out and I can just send it and I have a text message and then this is the resulting information that comes back so this is the confirmation that you can check to make sure that the transmission was uh, actually correct pretty slick so this is all uh, was originally architected and set up by the folks at Calibri so once again props to them uh, great job on doing this all you have to do is effectively wire it into your own solution your own copy of FM starting point or whatever you want to use now to actually see how this works a little bit better what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the script debugger in my copy of FileMaker Pro Advanced I'm going to bring this over here and then I'm going to uh, say something else so I know this is somewhat different uh, I'm just going to say this is the message to RC and then I'm going to uh, start the script running and then I'm going to step through all the steps so initially, of course, what we have cooking is that it's setting a bunch of variables that we're going to need. Uh, and these are local variables here. So it sets the account ID, uh, it sets the token, it sets the phone number, it sets the from, and it sets the message. And those are the basic variables that we need. Then there's a little bit of validation that's set up and is tested for. And then I can scroll down here. Now, this does a, a length testing to make sure that the phone number is of proper length otherwise it's not going to work and then right here this is actually we're setting up a variable called dollar post and this is actually the HTTPS post command that's going to go out and activate Twilio through their API so this is the part that basically it's an external almost like a URL protocol not technically a URL protocol but that kind of idea where it's going to be a web URL so this web URL is going to go out and activate Twilio and activate their SMS service based upon the parameters that we give it um, so it sets that variable right there and then it hasn't activated yet it's just simply set the variable in fact if I go into the data viewer real quick I can bring this up we can look at the dollar post real quick right here it's pretty interesting so as you can see my token and my ID are in here and those have been fuzzed out but essentially this is the web command or URL however you want to state that and it's going to go out to Twilio in a specific format that they understand and it's going to use this format to go to this number and it's from this phone number and right here is the body of the message pretty slick so that's all there is to it really and you just follow this format and it works fantastic and then to activate this we actually insert this URL into a field and then the results that come back will be the that block of text that we saw a little bit ago and there's a little bit of delay here while it runs now this is the results that come back so this is basically like a website that activates and then the results come back and this is the results that come back and we can actually and of course there's a response we can actually check to see if it was successful by uh, parsing this data part to check and see what was happening and it says data sent right so anyway that's how that works pretty straightforward stuff at any rate that's the 
SMS transmit and send functionality all wired up, set up for FileMaker. Uh, works great on FileMaker 13 and also 14. We haven't tested it back prior to that, but uh, there's no reason to think it wouldn't work on older versions of FileMaker. Although we're using the HTTP post function. So that leads me to believe yeah, this HTTP post, I think, was added in 13. Uh, so I don't think this will work in 12. You could try it in 12, I guess, and see what happens. But all you people out there watching the videos anyway should uh, be on 13 or 14 at this point. So anyway, uh, there you go. Uh, have fun. And th if you see the folks from Calibri, always uh, props to them and give them a shout out. All right? Thanks. Bye. Bye.